Hello guys, Daisy here, playing Niche, a genetic survival game. I have watched Siri, Pixel Biologist, play this a couple times? Maybe three times? I have watched very little, because I thought it looked super interesting and I didn't want to spoil too much. I kind of wanted to discover it on my own. So I finally was able to purchase it in the Steam Winter Sale, and now I'm excited to give it a try. I don't know a lot. I'm hoping to kind of learn as I go, and we'll see. This might be a one-off video. I might never play it again. Who knows? <laughs> but I'm going to dive in and check it out. Creating world. So we are going to have little creatures, and each little creature is going to have its own kind of uh, genetics. And then we have to do some, we have to find him a mate and do uh, breeding to create families. Wow. That looks beautiful. I love the art style already. I've turned off the music because I'm unsure if it is uh, copyrighted. Oh, and I'm almost glad I can't hear the music because I'm sure it's super dramatic. Did the bird steal that baby? I am not for this. No, that baby fell. Oh, why do I keep picking very sad games to play? Oh, no. No. Oh, this is heartbreaking. Now he's on his own. Oh. Look at his cute little face. Oh, ouch, that hurt. You are all alone, stranded on an island far away from home. Zoom with your mouse wheel, or RF, R, R, F. Move camera, left click and drag, or use WASD. Tilt, right click and drag, oh okay. Or use QETG, I will never remember that. <laughs> never. Oh, his name is Adam. Click on Adam to select him. There's a lot going on here. Try and see if he can still walk. While Adam is selected, click on a paw symbol to move. Oh, he moved. He didn't quite walk, but he, he moved. What a long day. Time to get some sleep. At the beginning of each day, animals regain their action points, which are represented by the gems on their chest. Okay. Each performed action, such as walking, depletes one action point. Click on the end day button at the top of the screen, or press space to end the day. <gasps> he got a little bigger! There seems to be plenty of food on this island. Let's eat! Animals eat one food per day. Make sure Adam doesn't starve. The animal counter in the lower right corner displays how much food is consumed when ending a day. Next to it is the food counter, displaying how much food has been collected. Select Adam, find a berry bush, and move next to it. Collect its fruit. Oh, we are already there. Collect fruit. This island seems to be deserted. A pathway of stones leads to another island in the distance. Animals grow older and die one day. Oh no! The life bar shows an animal's current age and lifespan. If the bar is full, the animal dies. Move Adam to the flower port. End the day if you need to refill your action points. Interact with the pointy travel stone to leave the island. What if I don't want to leave the island? Oh, it must be that. The pointy travel stone. Okay, let's move. Ah, he needs to rest. Good thing we have a lot of apples. How do we... Oh. What's this? Clear white foliage. Small chance to find nest material. Dig to root. Try to dig up... Dig to root? Where did I get that from? Try to dig up ground. Low chance to succeed because of low digging ability. I don't know what that will do. I would like to speed get over there, like just click there, do whatever it takes. Okay, let's 
So we are moving on. We're doing so good. We conquered the first island. We're moving to the next. Here we are. Behind you, the stepping stones crumble and splash into the ocean. It sounds like animals are living on this island. You smell the presence of a member of your species. Species. <laughs> species. You can toggle your senses by clicking on the button in the bottom right or pressing 1, 2, 3 on your keyboard. Move around and use all your senses to find the member of your species. Offer it five food to join your group. That's a lot of food. That's a lot of food. Oh, okay. So it, this is our sight. We can see that. This is our smell, scent. And then this is our hearing. Our hearing is pretty darn good. Let's go here. Can I? Yes. Um, I wonder if we should collect some fruit while we're here. Oh, we can't. It's not, it's not ready. Oh, oh gosh, there it is. <laughs> Hi, hello. Eve. Oh, the animal you found is a female called Eve. Adam and Eve seem to like each other. Let's start a family. An animal sex is displayed in the bottom left corner. Males have manes. You can use the tab key to switch between animals that still have action points left. Move your animals together and mate them. Oh, do they need to be on the same? How? Oh, I did it. Oh, I did it. Yay. Adorable. Eve is pregnant. She needs a nest to give birth. Building nests uses nesting material, which can be collected by clearing grass. Built nests decay over time and need to be repaired. Your nesting material counter is displayed in the bottom right corner. Find a natural nest or build a nest with Eve. Make sure Eve is in a nest when ending the day. I guess we never know when the babies will come, so... Did I do it? Oh, they did say there's like a small chance. What happens if we shake the tree? <gasps> we get nuts! Awesome! Crack open the nut. Oh, we got some food! Excellent! Now let's clear some grass. We got a little bit of nesting material. Oh, she's not in a nest! Oh no. Don't be mad with me. Where do we build a nest? How do we build a nest? Does she have to build the nest? Ah, yes, build nest. Excellent. She might as well collect food while she's sitting here, so. <laughs> Maybe he can uh, do some exploring. Food collecting. What was that noise? I want to make sure there's nothing else here on this island, basically. Oh! Oh! We had babies! There's two! This is way more exciting than I thought it was gonna be. Your first offspring has been born. Let's see what it can do. Click on the newborn and open the skill tab in the bottom left corner. There's two. Its name is Van Van Van. Wow, what is this? Each animal has its own set of skills. The numbers below the skill icon show an animal's skill level. Some interactions require certain skills. If an interaction icon is orange, you only have a small chance to succeed. How hover over a skill to see more information. Skills are defined by an animal's DNA. Open the gene tab. First, let's see kind of what we have here. We have speed. He has a one speed. Oh, he has six of whatever this is. Oh, he's very fertile. <laughs> okay. Wait, is it a boy? No, this is a girl. No, it's a boy. <laughs> I was not sure where I was looking. Very fertile. Immunity to sickness. What else are we high in? Hearing. Super hearing. <gasps> Super strength. Uh, not very resistant to cold. What about this baby? 
That's the girl. Sire? She has maybe the same stats? Oh no, these are different. She is really good at smelling. Okay, what is the mom then? Oh. And the dad? Fascinating. Oh, okay, so we didn't even do the genes. Shows an animal's DNA consists of many traits, which are which define appearance and skills. Each trait is defined by a pair of genes. Genes are inherited from an animal's parents. Each parent randomly contributes one gene of each gene pair. Oh, okay, so it will either be the top or bottom. A gene's tooltip shows which skills are influenced a gene pair can express. Complete dominance, only the upper gene of the pair is active, e.g. eyes. Incomplete dominance, both genes blend together, e.g. fur color. Co-dominance, both genes are separately expressed, e.g. paws. I am not sure the difference between incomplete dominance or co-dominance. Oh, it's not really showcased then, I guess. Or maybe when they're white, it's co-dominance, and when they have color, it's incomplete. Each animal has two mutation slots. Mutations don't affect the animal itself. They affect an animal's offspring by giving it a chance to express the selected gene. Confirming a mutation is irreversible. Click on a mutation slot, select a gene, and confirm the mutation. Oh gosh, we pick! Oh, that's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure. Oh, we could give it horns? I don't know what those do. Oh. See, some of these have bonuses and some of them do not. Like horns, I think is purely cosmetic. But it would be so cool. Why would we want to give it hemophilia? Ugh. Cold resistant, I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna need. It seems pretty warm. No horns. It seems pretty warm here. Short-sighted eyes. Well, what does he have now? Is he short-sighted? He has two eyesight. What's he good at? Maybe we'll en enhance that. Oh, he's very fertile. <laughs> Defense. Hearing. We could increase hearing. Strength, maybe. Oh, we could give him a medium body. That's plus one to, like, everything. What body size does he have now? How do we know? Oh, he's a big body. Okay, so I think I understand. Because the mutation is not going to show up on Van Van Van. <laughs> Van Van Van. But it could pass on to his offspring. I get it now. I totally, I totally missed that. So we could give him something weird and then his kid might get it. I get it now. <laughs> I kind of want to give them horns. Additional information about an animal can be found in the bottom left corner. Animal ranks define who gets to eat if food is scarce. Alpha animals can exile omega animals. Status effects are displayed next to the rank. Ooh, click an animal rank to change it. He is a beta. Or an omega. Now he's an alpha. Oh. No, he was a beta. Alpha. Omega. Beta. I guess we'll make him an alpha. We should probably make her an alpha as well. Him an alpha. Can everybody be an alpha? Maybe the mom should be a beta. Moms eat last. That sounds about right, right? What's this one? Oh, there's more. Finally, you can get an overview of your group in the family tree, where you can change the names, gem colors, and rank of your animals. You can also filter your animals by skills and genes. Pay close attention to which animals you breed. Incest can quickly lead to sickness. Make sure each animal has two different immunity genes to prevent this. Open the family tree tab to have a look and close it again. I first want to see what this looks like so I don't mess it up. So we want them to have two different immunity genes. Good to know.
Okay. So they both have the same parents, but I, I mean, at this point, there's gonna have to be incest in order, unless we discover another animal, in order to uh, make more. This is the end of the tutorial. Your story begins here. Go and find the way back to your home island, but beware, many challenges await you. Adapt or go extinct. Simple as that. I'm very worried to putting a lot of responsibility in my hands. Okay, but I mean, so for the boy, we can make sure he's super strong. We can make sure she's uh, good at something else. They can work together. Do we move to another island? We can. I have a feeling we should stock up on some food here, though. So she has horns. Oh, they turn. They turn when I turn. She has a blending of these. Interesting. So I don't think I have to pick their mutations right away. Which is good. I think maybe we should, uh... Do something about the food here. Collect the food. Oh, there was a nest here. I'm gonna... What are those? Hey, mama. Berries, please. Okay. Nuts. Can these little guys do anything yet? No. Okay. Uh, she's not in the nest. That's probably super dangerous. Probably dangerous that I left them away from the nest. But I feel like this, this island is, is okay right now. Um, I don't know what the digging does. What is that? C4. Dig up the ground to find food. Interesting. Let's at least put him near the nest. They follow my mouse, it's totally bizarre. Oh, I wonder if we should change their names. Uh, the girl name trips me up a little bit. Sire? You guys will have to help me. Give me new names for the little kids. Like, give me some suggestions and I will change them. I don't know, I kind of like Van Van Van, but... <laughs> Yeah, give me uh, suggestions in the comments below and I will pick my favorites and change them. Guys, this is super fun. This is I thought it was going to be far more complicated, but I think I'm doing okay here. But before we move on to our next island, I think we're going to end it here with our new little friends. Kusire, Kusiri, Van Van Van. <laughs> I love it. I love them. I'm kind of sad they didn't come out looking at least one of them more like the mom because she's a little reddish. But I love this guy with the fangs and his little hairdo. <laughs> so cute. Let me know what I should name them in the comments below. Let me know if you've played this game. If you have any tips or tricks, please feel free to let me know. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!